Hi, hello, and welcome back to Sally Face. I, like Mrs. Rosenberg's chill, uh, I'm imaginary. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Let's get back into this game. We're gonna try to find the battery pack and the antenna as quickly as possible uh, here so that things can start moving along again. I don't know how long this will actually take and what kind of shit I'm gonna get up to in the meantime. Anyways, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know, I was kind of hoping Larry would have some advice for me. Lisa's sick. Lisa's sick. Um, probably not gonna find it in Larry's bathroom. Hmm. Chuck, do you know where I'm gonna find the shit I need? Oh, this works. Have you seen any ghosts lately? Nah, not really. Yeah, I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just hope and I just stay in my room most times. Have you seen Demon with Red Eyes? What? Heck no! Are you trying to give me nightmares? See ya. I think some of the characters' voices are starting to become like fucking one because I'm terrible at this and keeping the characters separate. <laughs> And the dead bird. Probably not gonna find an antenna up, up on the fifth floor, to be honest, or a battery pack. But, I don't know, might as well take a look around, see what I can find. Locked. Maybe Megan will show herself to me. Megan? Megan. I like the name Megan for a ghost. It's so like, it's so chill for like a ghost. Normally when you're like, you're naming a ghost character, I don't think you would like say, oh, it's Megan the ghost. So I need a battery pack. What you doing, bud? What you doing, buddy? Battery pack, battery pack and an antenna. Maybe the dad will have one or Sal in his room. No? <laughs> dad? Hey dad. Can't talk right now, but Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. No. Alright, let's check out the neighbors. He must not be home. Wonder who the hell Robert is. I like the idea that life kept moving in that part in this place though, so like like that life just kept moving, so shit didn't actually uh What's up, brother? Yeah. That's not the voice I gave him earlier. They're pretty busy right now. I shouldn't bother them. Chuck's place, Chuck's downstairs, blah blah blah. No, it's home. Can I just take like one of the cameras? Get the battery pack out of there? I wonder if Todd will just have any hints. Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. It's Bob the fish. I like your fish. And that's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed some more nature in my life to counterbalance all the technology, as they put it. Uh, I need to nail a fucking voice down for this kid. Will this work for the reception? That attend is a bit too small for our purposes. Let's work for the power. Yeah, the battery from Walkie Talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Okay. Puzzle box that belongs to Larry's dad. I'm missing a piece, so I can't get it open right now. So. Hey, Bob. Alright, so the Walkie Talkie was part of it. It's gonna be the other part though. Yeah, I don't 
Two of one is starting to freak me out a little bit. They always seem to be working on building something in there. Charlie's old place isn't gonna have jack shit. I think I already checked Jeff, Charlie's place before I left earlier. Oh. Okay. I didn't really want to talk to her again. She kind of down puts me in a down or in a bad mood. Miss Gibson, she doesn't want to talk either. Help me help you, Sal. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't think anyone lives there. Alright, so where am I gonna get the antennas? The walkie-talkie one is apparently too short. Must have found, maybe? This doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Damn. It's apparently the junkie upstairs. Can you steal the TV antenna? Oh, this is like the chest in the treehouse. There's nothing of note inside this one. Hmm. Where am I gonna find the antenna? Get you anything? Ah, don't trouble yourself, Sal. Larry's taking good care of me. Uh, come on, where am I gonna find a fucking antenna? Oh, on the radio. Hey, mind if I borrow this antenna for your from your scanner? Yeah, I guess that'd be okay. That works. Chuck is acting like he's starving to death. This is his parents. Do his parents not keep any food in the house? Or was it three or two that Todd lived on? Todd lived on two. This cold sketch of an alien abduction. Would this work for the reception? Yeah, that will work perfectly. With the two components you received in my own retrieved in my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the super gear boy. Will I be able to use it as a walkie-talkie? Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, thank- oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is- is or I hope that is alright. Larry's not gonna be too happy about it. It's okay though, it's for a good cause. Wonderful! Now for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. Okay, cool. I too say press the shift button sometimes in normal dialogue. Anyways, I oh, that kills me in most games. While it's flashing, press the R button here to produce a large electrical discharge. Now that one I could get. That one I understand saying press the R button because you can be pressing the R button on the control on the game. And if my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist. Yeah, I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the gear boy by pressing shift. Ha, huh, maybe I... It worked! Holy crap! Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he'd kill them. It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. 
It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to stay, but I'd know better than that. Like, sweetie, did you not like the voice I was doing? What the hell was that? <laughs> well then... <laughs> We want to help you. We haven't. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on. What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no! I peaked my volume there. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed demon? The man who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go! I'm sorry! You really don't like that voice, do you? You really don't like that voice, huh? Hold on, I can't see my screen now, sweetie. Time to move. Hold on, I can't. That was... <laughs> that was a fully formed and conscious apparition! I've never seen anything like that! You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine! It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. Will you do that? I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect! Oh, by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. Excuse me. Sure, let me just do that in your bathroom. Todd modified my gear boy to detect supernatural hotspots. Oh wait, this game's on it. In Seeking Providence. Oh, uh, wait, oh, why are chapter one and two locked? He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simple curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Wait. That looks like the man that I literally just woke up. Is that what- is he supposed to look like that? Leave to the church? Leave. Oh, hold on. I wasn't supposed to leave. I thought that was the man telling me to leave. Sorry, map is only. This guy looks so sad. This sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. All these rooms look the same. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a cycle. I gotta figure out the correct path, basically. No. Okay, so it's up. All these rooms look the same. Okay, let's go back out. Re-enter. Uh. Wait, was that right? All these rooms look the same. Uh. No, okay. I feel like it says all these rooms look the same whenever I fail. So down seems to be the right answer that time. Okay, so it's, it's up, down, right? Okay, up, down. Left? No, damn, okay, okay, apparently maybe I should never go left. Up, wait, up. For some reason, up makes that noise whenever I go up. And it doesn't transfer me back to the right. Wait, hold on, okay. Wait, that, that time that was right. Okay, so it's up right, not up down. So when I go, when I was going down, I was basically just retreading my steps. So it's up right. Up right down. Okay, so it's up right down. Right down left. Oh, 
devil. Up, right, down, right. Hello, miss. What are you? Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Well, that's kind of you. I take it you're not from with the men from the, this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in that big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's awfully kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. That's a humble, just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure's all mine. Okay. I think that had something to do with me unlocking that dude. And I think he's like... I think the more I d interact with him... That dude's room always freaks me out. Let's go up to the fifth floor. I want to go see Megan. But I also want to go into that corner. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. That didn't look good. That was a really bad idea. fire with this Oh god. I need to stop fucking around with demons and all. Oh no. Oh no. What am I doing? anything first. No, okay. Alright, let's check the... Now let's... The other thing I wanted to check was my own room. I'm gonna check maybe a cat. Cat seems more than human. Anything in my bathroom? Nope. What did I do in that room? Oh, both of those, I was not good. Wait, I wonder if I unlocked any more games on the on the console. Dad doesn't look like he's gonna be too much of a character in this chapter. All right. Uh, next, I kind of want to go to Charlie's room. I feel like Charlie's room might have something, and I was right. Oh no, not this again. Um, what? That was different though, that was green this time. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. I 
one more place for me to check, which is where that demon operated before. I don't like this. What the? Got an achievement called Devour. I unlocked a new chapter of this game. Wait, what's up? With yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play that in the next episode here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you didn't, please leave a dislike. And let me know why down in the comments below so I can work on improving my content. Have a great night!